Hello and welcome to my channel Distinct to Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. So today I'm just coming on to show you guys really quick uh, what I made over the weekend and also I had a couple of shout outs. So the first one is for uh, the channel is called It's Ezra and this is Ezra and um, she is a crocheter and she also is a knitter. But um, she's got some really exciting news on her channel, guys. And I just want um, you to go ahead and check her out so you can see what her news is and um, all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, remember to su subscribe and like her video as well if you haven't already. And also, I would like to give a shout out to um, she's uh, Melanie at She Stitching. So um, Melanie has a great channel. If you're ever looking for a new stitch that you want to try out, she's got plenty of them. And she's also showing you guys how um, she's making each square uh, into a stitch pattern. And then she's going to be sewing them together to make a blanket. But she'll tell you more about that on her channel. So go check her out as well. So also, um, that was it for the shout outs. But now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I've been making. No, there was something else. And that is that um Anna from Anna's Crafty or More. Hey Anna. <laughs> she is um a podcaster here on YouTube and she has also made my Starshine pattern. So I will be linking her channel down below as well. And also I will be adding uh her video where she shows Starshine into a playlist into this um Starshine playlist which I will also link down below. So guys, remember to check out that description box. A lot of good stuff in there. Okay, and now moving on <laughs> to um, what I had made over the weekend. So um, DOI Creations had put out a tutorial for um, the loofah uh, that you can you know use to scrub up with. So I had a lot of cotton, and actually I saw Ezra made some. And I have been wanting to make some for a while, but when I saw hers, I was like, yeah, I got to make some. And then when I saw Jeanette put her tutorial out, I was like, for sure. So um, I went ahead and made a few of those. So here is the first one that I made. And this is just a um, like a country green color. And it's all in 100% cotton. And then I have this one done in um, a red color. And this is just some um, cotton that I had. And um, here's a third one. So you can see how I used some scraps on that one. I ran out just at the end. So I'm not for sure. I think these are, let me see. I got my bag of cotton down here. Hold on, let me show you guys. Let me see if I can just show you. I just got this. <laughs> This is bag of cotton. So the green one is in the uh, Burnett Handicrafter, and it's a 100% cotton uh, number four. And in this particular one, you get uh, 710 yards. It's a 400 gram ball of yarn. So the other ones, I believe, were just the um peaches and cream for both and that is also 100% cotton also a number four and you get uh, how many yards in this one okay 95 yards and it's a uh, 56.7 grams let me see if the color okay and the color was uh, fruit explosion for this one this one is just in like a some kind of lime green or something. And the other one was the uh, the red color. So I also had another bag of cotton that I was gonna be using to make um the mask with. I made my husband a mask already, but he used it, so um I didn't have that to show. But um, this is some cotton that I got from, what is that, Blueprint, and it's called the Sprightly. 
Cotton Worsted. I'm not sure if they still have this available because I had checked a couple times after I purchased this and I couldn't find it. So they may have replenished. I'm not sure. But this is the color gray and um, it is a 100% cotton. And this particular one you get 525 yards which is 300 grams. But I have this color. I have it in green. I have it in red. And then I have it in this variegated color. Um, I was thinking about making a top, a, a summer top out of this, but I was thinking about making a knitted summer top. So I'm not for sure if I'm gonna do that. This is just a, a, a old, old whip that I was trying to do when I first got it. And I was trying to do like the Ar like the Argyle or the, um, what they call that? Um, the um, pattern, the pooling. Yes, I was trying to do that, but it didn't really come out in the pattern that I wanted it to. I was looking for more of an argyle pattern. So this is probably going to be frogs. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I had some, you know, white cotton too. So I'll probably be making some more of the um, the loofahs here. I really like how they came out. So I'll probably make some more of those and also some um, face masks with my cotton yarn and um also I just made uh I haven't sewn in the ends yet because I'm not for sure if I like it or not maybe you guys can tell me what you think about it <laughs> but this is just a um oops I bent up this is just a little graduation cap that I made for my son because um it's just got the letters of his school on there so um He's going to be going on into middle school next year. So I just wanted him to have um, something a little special to remember um, just moving up into the next grade. So I haven't put a tassel on there yet because I'm not for sure if I like it or not. But, um, yep. So that's pretty much all I made over the weekend. Um, I got some more ideas going in my head. So I was just trying to do some little quick projects that I needed to get done before I moved on to those uh, next projects that I want to be working on but um, yeah I'm gonna have some more stuff coming this week guys so don't worry about that but anyway that's pretty much all I have for you today so please remember to like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching I appreciate you all uh, thanks again for um, everyone who has made my starshine pattern as well as all of those who have been making my tutorials for my summer tops, my corner to corner, and also my granny ruffle stitch top. Uh, I appreciate you all so much, and I have a lot more coming, guys. So remember to subscribe and hit that bell because you don't want to miss out. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.